I was really fortunate last night. Uh, my buddy Blake let me come up to his house and I successfully harvested my first self-filmed deer, a big doe. Uh, I was excited, you know, Blake and I got to do it together. I got home last night after skinning it, hanging it, going to bed, only got about four and a half hours of sleep and when I woke up this morning, I, I wasn't even sure that I was gonna go. I slept in an extra 15 minutes and then dragged myself out of bed and I just had to go this morning. It's the third week of October it's the first real true cold front that's come through in the Northeast. Yesterday it was in the mid 40s and this morning at sunrise it's supposed to be 25 degrees. Uh, buck are just starting to actively make and use scrapes and I'm really hoping this morning that I'm going to have a big mature buck uh, still out working scrapes in the daylight and hopefully catch them before they get back to their bed. Located about 20 yards away from a big community scrape that Lee and I found uh, last March. Uh, I've been eagerly waiting for seven months to hunt this stand. So today, uh, wind in my favor, cold temperature, today's the day. find out until checking the trail cameras and the SD card uh, that the batteries in this camera died three days before this hunt. It figures, huh? so far this morning and then a doe and two fawns just came in and the doe just peed in the scrape that's what i'm here for beautiful morning got to see some deer very cool
so nervous right now, man. I've been sitting here all morning and I've been in deer since I got here. Had a deer on a scrape before it was even shooting light this morning and saw four different small bucks running around. Saw a doe and two fawns and it's about 9.40 and I decided I was gonna give a couple of soft grunts and about five minutes later this monster buck came in coming right to the scrape I was sitting over. I had my cameras going and he came in and he got behind a, a big hemlock tree and I pulled back and he walked into the scrape straight at me and uh, he looked right up at me mm -hmm. 20 yards away, started to tense his body up. Um, I thought he was gonna bolt once. I put that pin just to the right of his brisket inside the shoulder, took my time and shot and as soon as I shot he ducked and as soon as he ducked I can't tell where the arrow hit on the small GoPro and on my camera so he took off and went left super hard and I run heard him run up the hill 30 or 40 yards and then I heard him come right and I heard some leaves moving around for a little while and then I didn't hear anything else so I am so freaking nervous man I think I'm gonna get packed up and get out of here, go home. I think I'm gonna pull it up on the big screen and take a look at it. It's just after 10 o'clock and then I'll decide what I'm gonna do and I'm not gonna come back in here for till late this afternoon um, to really check things out and start looking because I don't wanna booger it up. So, man, I'm hoping and praying. We'll see. So there's the scrape in the background there and uh, I'm just so nervous right now. I've worked my tail off for a year and a half on public land. You know, put close to 250 miles on boots, scouting and trying to find the best places. And this is my first opportunity to get a shot at a deer. And he's a big buck, man. Probably the biggest I've ever shot in my entire life. So I'm just crossing my fingers. <laughs> On my way out, I dropped my pants, so I brought everything back to the truck and I followed my track back in. And uh, on the way in, I crossed blood, and uh, blood with bubbles in it, but it went on to private land. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can find where the landowner lives and see if I can knock on a door and uh, see if I can get permission uh, to go ahead and track it onto their property. Wish me luck. Good news, I got permission from the landowner to go ahead and continue tracking uh, this buck. I'm gonna go home, change my clothes, and um, grab something to eat real quick, uh, wait for a couple reinforcements, and then uh, head back up and start looking. It's still pretty cool this morning here, uh, but it's supposed to get up into the uh, low 50s today and then the 60s tomorrow. Um, so I wanna go ahead and get back up here by about one and get looking for this guy. Cross fingers. My stomach's in knots. Uh, I got some buddies to come up and help, Blake and Jared and Brian. I went back and looked at the video and uh, he definitely ducked and he kind of juked a little bit to the right. So that may have tucked a little bit tighter to that left shoulder than I thought. It didn't look like there was as much penetration. I'm um, just hoping with the amount of blood that we found, it got an artery or something in there. Um, hopefully got in to get one lung. Um, We'll see. I'm nervous on the way back up here and we'll get out in the field. We'll take a look and um, we'll check it out. It is so difficult to sit here and wait for my buddies to get here and help me out, but just got to take it one step at a time, especially if it's only one lung. Hello. Hello. The Calvary has arrived. <laughs> I was replayed it back. I almost looks like you shot him in the like in the nose, maybe. I don't know. It scares me. He ducked so much. Yeah, that's what, at that close distance. My I know. Play it back slide by slide. It's amazing how much he jumps that at, yeah. at that distance.
following blood on the track of this buck wasn't difficult. We pretty much found blood all along the entire track. Uh, he did run about 30 or 40 yards uphill and then it took a sharp right and uh, angled downhill towards private property. Probably about 150 yards from where I shot him, he stopped and he started walking in figure eights. Uh, we originally thought that he went downhill and left public land onto private, but after the four of us looked for probably about five minutes, Blake ended up finding a blood trail that went back uphill and stayed on public land. Yeah, buddy. Get up here, brother. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. Holy shit. Yeah, brother. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, oh right <laughs> underneath his <laughs> skull. Oh. Look, <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Yeah! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Holy moly! Look at those brows. Woo! Split brows. Two you got a text here, maybe I'll head you. Holy shit, man. He is a beast. Look at that arrow. Look at the size of him. <gasps> oh, yeah, man. Look at that neck. <laughs> Holy shit, man. On public, too, man. <sighs> oh. Look at no how big thing. his head is. Oh, it's a doozy. <laughs> He's a beast. <laughs> Holy crap. He's got a sticker here. He's got a sticker here. His He's got a sticker starting there. One, two, three, four, five, ten, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve without the stickers. <laughs> I man. told Wendy he was the biggest buck I'd ever shot. Yeah, he's huge. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. That is a stud, dude. Look at that, man. He's been busy. He has been busy. Let me get right in here. <laughs> Look at that. You shaved his snout. <laughs> you did, too, Look man. At that. Oh. He ducked hard. You might need to get another cape. <laughs> so do you think that went into... That, no, it went on the outside of the lung right there. Because that's in between the ribs and the shoulder blade, isn't it? He shot his artery. His yeah. Got him. You had to have. Yeah. Oh. You had to have hit a, his main artery. Oh. Here, let me let me get a. He's breaking it for a while. Good ass wow. Yeah. Yeah. He made it this far and then he just. Get yep. your bow in there right now. He must have been dead when. Um, Look, all over there too. He must have oh, been yeah, dead when you came yeah. out. Hmm. What a buck. All right, look here, man. Nice, dude. <laughs> let, me a, let me get a side one to try to get those brows in there. Well, I've been scouting my butt off for two years on public land, and I never thought I'd shoot a buck this big, but I got a doe last night and got her hung, and thought about not getting up this morning because I only got four and a half hours of sleep and I was second guessing myself all the way here. And um, I ended up getting into a tree stand this morning that I had picked out that I found a couple big scrapes on and I uh, had a pretty busy morning. I had a small buck in on the scrape even before shooting light this morning. So a doe and two fawns and three other small buck and it's about 930 and I was thinking about getting down and I said, well, it's a real cold morning. You know, I might as well sit here um, for another 15 minutes and it was about 944 and I was thinking about cleaning up and something caught my eye and I looked to the left and this guy was walking in. I caught him from about 60 yards away and uh, he weaved himself right in through a whole bunch of real small saplings and uh, came right into the scrape and uh, as he came behind a tree coming straight at me I pulled back and he came around that tree put his head down in the scrape and then he looked up and he picked me out right away. I mean, he knew I was there. So I went ahead and I was already drawn back on him. And I went ahead and got ready to shoot and he put his head down. And I said, the next time he puts his head up, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot. And he lifted that head up and I aimed right at the center of the brisket. And man, he ducked, I mean, big time ducked. 
when you take a look, it ended up going in the side of his jaw there, into the neck, into the artery, and into the spine. And uh, we got really confused on the blood for a while because he stopped and went in circles like figure eights, and we couldn't find where he left. And finally, between the four of us, we find the trail out of there, and believe it or not, he headed uphill as a wounded buck. And um, these guys found him while I was going back to grab a hat and I heard them yell my name and I couldn't get up here quick enough to get this absolute monster. 12 points, double split brow tines, three stickers, biggest buck of my life. And after two years of scouting New York, I'm freaking pumped, baby. Woo! <sighs> Unbelievable. Good job, man. <laughs> Unbelievable. nice if I actually brought the handle to this cart. Nope. Actually let that sitting in the shed at home. Which way we go? Right. Follow the follow the cleaned out trail. Can I follow Brian? Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> I told you that thing's gonna kill me man. Son of a bitch. <laughs> as far as it goes though this is literally like what, a 100 yard drag? 150 yard I drag? <laughs> hey, Bowski's with us. Bow's with us. Bow's with us, man. Let me get here. <laughs> Good job, boys. <laughs> Literally glad. died right on the ledge. Yeah, he's... I'm glad. He... You mentioned if he went the other way. Oh, yeah, boy. Yeah, I was just going to say, I'm just glad that he went that way. Yep. You just know he was hurting just right, awful right bad. Oh. Whatever he did when he was doing figure eights down there, he was probably just. Yeah. You either bumped him or he just. Well, that blood had to be just pumped yeah. out of that. Oh neck. yeah. When you push that arrow in, you were hitting. You were hitting solid. Oh, gotcha. Solid bone. Yeah, it just keeps moving around and opening that hole up more and. Oh, he just kicked me right in the shit. <laughs> they always get the last. <laughs> <laughs> 